Hi, I'm Mike Muir. Welcome to this week's edition of the Muir Minute. We're here at the Sky Lodge at Easy Street Grocery with Executive Chef Scott Bobrick to go over some of the nice dishes he's making with some of our fine products. Thank you, Mike. Hi, everybody. Today I'm going to produce our pasta primavera. It's a very, very simple, classic Italian dish. It's not for the diet friendly. A lot of cream, a lot of Parmesan in it, but we are using some great fresh vegetables. We've got broccoli, snow peas, and jumbo asparagus. All this is provided to us from your Copper Canyon Farms. Uh, heavy cream, Parmesan Reggiano, and a garnish of Parmesan Reggiano crisp, and some oven dried tomatoes. The dish is really quick and simple. First thing we need is we need to make sure we have a hot saute pan with clarified butter. The reason you want to use clarified butter on this dish is because when you add your cream, you want the cream to bind to the butter. If you use oil, it, uh, the dish can separate. You'll have maybe possibly an oil, oil separation from the cream. So we're going to do that. First thing we want to do is make sure you always have a hot pan. Proper sautés, hot pan, minimal amount of fat, and cook rapidly. All right, we're going to add our snow peas, broccoli, jumbo asparagus. We're going to give them some good caramelization. One thing on this dish is we do not blanch any of the vegetables. They're going to saute in the butter. We're going to add our heavy cream. That's going to cook them through perfectly so we don't lose any of the nutrients. One thing we're trying not to do is trying not to make sure that the pan does not flame up. If a pan, if a pan flames up with only oil or butter in it, chances are that the dish itself will have a little bitterness and burnt flavor. That's why I'm, when I'm sautéing it, that little flame could give you some burnt flavor. You get nice caramelization. You can see it right there. While that's cooking, we're going to add our pasta to our pasta bath. Basically, we're bringing it up to temperature, getting ready for the dish. Our vegetables are now ready for our cream to be added. Not too much. That cream is going to reduce and thicken. Then we're going to add the Parmesan. It's going to even make it thicker, and you're really going to get your flavor. One of the most important ingredients in this dish, believe it or not, is salt and pepper. Okay, our cream has reduced to the amount of reduction that I'd like. Now I'm going to add my Parmesan. We can't forget that all important salt, fresh cracked pepper. And we're going to drain, let our pasta drain. And toss. Now you notice it's, it's a little over reduced. That's a simple fix. Just add a little more cream. You want a sauce, you don't want it too thick. Nice nappé of the pasta. We're ready to go. Like I said earlier, our garnish is oven dried tomatoes. Gives it nice color. And some Parmesan crisp. Gives it some nice texture. Since there is Parmesan in the, in the dish itself. And one little final greenery, and that's it. That's Easy Street's Pasta Primavera. Thanks for watching this week's Muir Minute with Chef Scott Bobrick at Easy Street Brossery in Park City, Utah. This fine dish of the Pasta Primavera. Thanks, Scott, for your time. Anytime, Anytime brother. Always a pleasure.